Good day everyone, Jack Dejin here. After all the hype about AI and everything, I can't help to make a video, even though most of my content is predominantly crypto. Um, but you know, in our crypto world, we do use a lot of chat GPT as well, and able to help us to write stuff, documentation, even coding. So why am I making this video? Well, something really interesting that I found on Twitter, the chat GPT has made a app store, apparently. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, if I just play it, as you can see, we have the plugins and then you've got different plugins that you can install. This changes a lot of things because right now when we use ChatGPT, one of the biggest issues that we have is context, right? Um, you could be saying, Hey, can you help me do this, do that? But you've got to do a lot of work in terms of explaining context. But when we have these plugins, which each plugin can provide a very specific context or an area of expertise, it can help ChatGPT to give you more direct and more precise answers. As you can see here, it's asking for recipe and they're using Wolfram Alpha to do a lot of these um, dietary calories calculations. Um, and then you can order the ingredients now on things like Instacart and things like that. And also apparently it can recognize video, you know, there's plugins to do video and everything. So it's going to be very interesting to see if they built a custom plugin in a custom plugin store on top of ChatGPT, um, it will be huge, right? It will be absolutely huge because as you can see here, there's, um, they actually have a developer SDK where you can build a plugin, uh, thanks to SWYX, his excellent thread on this. Um, I'll link the thread down below and there's how you write your own plugin and how to install your own plugin and things like that. Interesting, huh? It can also run FFmpeg. This is a plugin that allows ChatGPT to read a video. So I think that's pretty insane. So imagine right now, the only way we can give context is to copy stuff in, right? We can copy stuff in and things like that. But now apparently you can let it read a video. Uh, you can import a video and it will watch the video and maybe it would, that will provide more context to it and things that you get could be in the future, potentially a video. So it's a plugin for video processing, things like that. Now, what's interesting is, um, the wait list for ChatGPT is open. So ChatGPT plugins waitlist. I will link this down below as well. So you can fill the information and depending on, uh, depending on your luck, you might get in or not. But as far as I can tell, it's not based on whether you're paid or not. So you could get any for free. Um, I'm a paid subscriber. And so far I don't have any of these options and I just joined the waitlist. So hopefully, hopefully I can get in the wait list and uh, see how this goes. So yeah, there's a short video, but I've linked the wait list link down below in the comments. Go there, input your details and best of luck. I'll see you guys next one. Peace.